Hi guys. It's now twenty two twelve on Saturday the night of July. I've just had an hour conversation with the Samaritans. That's how bad it's got. Um, I don't know how bad the situation is going to get. Um, not feeling too positive. They're giving me this clonazepam, which is making me feel like I've got jet lag. Um, it looks like I'm losing support on on this social media accounts. Um, it's just, you know, I've just spoken with this lady from Samaritans and it sounds like her life is still moving forward as is lots of people's lives out there. It's obvious not everyone is in the same boat I'm in. And you know, it's the weekend now and nothing happens over the weekend. Not that a great deal is happening like during the week. Um, I've sent some very heartfelt messages to uh, the GMC and NHS England. Um, And uh, I don't really know what more I can do. There's not, there's nothing more I can do. Um, I've left messages for my solicitor. I've sent emails to him. It's the weekend, so he's probably not going to get back to me. I mean. The bottom line is, does anyone care really? Like, you know, um, I'm just one person in a system that is designed to harm. Um, I feel, I, I don't feel good at all. Uh, I don't get why I'm going through this really. Because I don't deserve to be going through this. And it does make me angry, it makes me very angry that they've got the right to take you out of your home. Um, take you to a different part of the country. Throw you in a unit that is not fit for purpose and you know, they, they, they're kind of polite with you, but, you know, where does that get you? You know, it's just, it's just bullshit, you know. It's, they say hello to you and they're polite to you, but, you know, there's no real reality behind it or genuine care or act 
actually movement forward or conversation about what really needs to be discussed, which is what your problems are in life. You know, that's, that's how they could help. I mean, I was telling the lady from the Samaritans about where I was in 2014 in Signet Derby and that was, that was the last time I had respect. I'm in this two bit cheapo NHS trust called Oxley's and uh, it, it's the pits, you know, it's, it's, I'm not racist, but it's run by foreigners who are just, you know, there's no one more senior you can turn to. Um, the buck stops with someone who they put in charge in this unit. And there's no one higher you can turn to. Um, it's a very well thought out, destructive, um, destructive uh, blueprint, shall we call it. Um, and like I said, I don't know what more I can do. I just want my life back, I want my, I want to go back to Nottingham and start again or, or I don't know what you call it really but try and save some of my life. I don't know how I'm going to achieve that. I'm going to be having this hearing next Friday. And to be honest, I think what I'm going to have to do is put, it, put in for a judicial review and have it heard in a, a higher court. My whole case. And that's what I plan to do. Um, that's what's going to happen because, you know, this system does need to be exposed and I'm the, per I'm the man to do it. It's a lot like the Assange case, but slightly different where he was, well, it was a WikiLeaks, wasn't it? It was him trying to get out in the open, hidden secrets, a bit like what I'm trying to do. But all they try and do is make a fool out of you and Make you look like an idiot. Um, anyways, I think I'll leave it there. Um, <laughs> you know, there's no reason for them doing this to me. They're lying through their teeth in all the reports I've read so far. And they will continue to try and do that to me. Um, 
his character assassination. Anyways, over and out guys, see you later.